of my environment. I could have been. I was raised in the hood, straight right in Westland, Westland, West Ho. West Ho. Right and I could have been. All of the stuff I seen, but my mom, she was very religious. So outside was was not a thing. Like I was my outside was my porch. Yeah, that's how my mom was at 14. Like we was in the house, but um once I went to my daddy's house, that was the party right there. Like my dad and them, we could go to the park, we could do whatever. They just be like, come back before, you know, the sun mm-hmm. go down. Street lights come on. Yeah, that. And then like me and my cousin and like my sisters and like my uncle, his baby mom, like her kids. We used to just go get into trouble. Like mm-hmm. I, I don't know what it was. I think it was like the video games, like Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that. And then, you know, being in that environment and going through trauma at home, you gonna go out and go get into some trouble. Mm-hmm. That's so that's how that came about. So, but you know, it was fun while it lasted. But you know, you gotta change all that at some point. Yo, Tony, I didn't realize. Ain't no joke. I didn't realize you were 27. I thought you were younger. You look younger than that right now. You look mad oh. young. You, you look my age. You look my right. age. You know what I mean? Like 22, 23-ish. Thank you. Why is Jason lying about his age? Here we go. Here we go. This what, nonsense. Why man. are you why are you pretending to be younger than you actually are? Add are about, about add about 15, 16 years to that. And we 15, 16 years. Of, Jason, you're uh, not younger than me. You're older than me, Jason. Oh, I'm oh, younger than you by a long shot, yo. But not by a long shot. Get it. I was dating a cougar back in the day. I was dating Lies. a cougar. Right? <laughs> Okay. Oh, so how old are you? Jason, we about to be 40, okay? It's okay. We about to be 40. I mean, eventually I'm going to be 40, but I'm not about to be 40. We got like five years. We got like four years. All right, so I'm I'm actually 36. So. Oh, Me too. Oh, I am 36. We are 36. You are about to be 37 this year, though. Yeah, so. and you're going to be 36, 37 in what, April? Oh, when is the birthday? Because oh, I like the party. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to be 37 December 4th. My husband about to be 40, and we were supposed to be going to Aruba, but plans and money did not work out this year. I really wanted to, wanted to make it work, but it's expensive now. <laughs> oh, yeah, everything. <coughs> it's like Groupon. Groupon got a lot of deals. Definitely I'm going to look for something because I want to surprise him with something, but he be acting the same. But I'm going to figure it out. But y'all, yeah. y'all age, I wouldn't think y'all was, you know, like 30-something. Yeah. It gave 29, 29. Well, you know, black, black don't crack, so you know. Right? <laughs> nope. Yeah. Where is Bob? He just. Bob, he bounced, yo. He bounced for some reason. He probably has something to do. I don't, I don't know. So I got a question for y'all. Huh? I, I got a question for y'all. Both of y'all. Okay, so what? Okay, so what made y'all want it to start podcasting? Um, Dad's go first. I did not want to start a podcast. <laughs> I was actually a guest. I just, he he hit me up on LinkedIn like, hey, what's up? You know, them connections from back in the day. So I was like, what's up? And he was like, yo, I'll do this podcast. Come on. And then I did it and I enjoyed talking. I just talk all the time. And I'm surrounded by kids literally 24-7. <laughs> longer. And so it's good to have, like for me, I like talking to adults. I like having those conversations, you know, um, so I I enjoy it. I really do. I like it. I like my opinion being out there. I like debating just in general. Yeah, so when I get with these guys, they we debate. We really be <coughs> having some conversations. Excuse me. Oh no, you're fine. <coughs> Jason. Mm. Yeah, basically the same thing, man. You know, I like talking to over opinionated people, people that have something to stand on, people that have like options, not options, but like, you know. They can, you know, have a dialogue. You know what I mean? Like, I, I like having that back and forth, that give and take type of thing. So, and honestly, um, I was just bored. I was just bored. You know what I mean? So, I felt like I just need to utilize my time a little bit more and see what else I can do. You know, maybe do this and see how it goes. You know what I mean? It was just the idea that sparked into this. You know. Nice. You never, you never thought about doing a podcast, Tony? I actually did. I, I, I got like an account set up on Apple that I was going to um, start. But then, you know, I got kind of, I don't know. I want to say being a sore loser. But I know once I, you know, started pro- promoting that I was going to start a podcast, like a few other people. Because, you know, Miami is a monkey see, monkey do city. You cannot do nothing without yeah. everybody trying to, you know. Top on the wave. So that happened, and I was just like, you know what, fuck it. I'll just go back to um vlogging, me being behind the scenes and backstage and, you know, like doing concerts and stuff. 
because I felt like um I get more, you know, pull like doing things like that instead of, you know, sitting down and just, you know, interviewing people, which I had a lot of guests too. I had a lot of people that I worked with like at Encore and then like behind the scenes and stuff like doing shows that wanted to like join the podcast. But, you know, I want all the right equipment and stuff. And when I move away and settle down, maybe I would so. But I always get like a lot of attention when I'm like out vlogging on like scene. Yeah, I know your TikTok is popping right now. <sighs> I ain't been on TikTok in a minute. I got so much stuff I have to upload on TikTok because I done did a lot of stuff. Like I, oh man, yeah, TikTok. That that's just like something I'm gonna have to sit down for a whole day. Yeah, word. That's a job. That's an eight-hour shift right there. Yeah, but I think the last um TikTok I uploaded was when I worked with BET. Mm -hmm. I did production for BET, and that was like months ago. So yeah, yeah. I gotta get back on there. <laughs> Seriously, man, that's one thing you can do to uh you know increase your uh your audience, man. It definitely help you out. You have that personality, you have that trait, you have that uh you know that that char charisma to actually go out there and, and make it really happen, yo. You got something special. I give you that. What's some what's some yeah. advice that you could give these young ladies, these girls out here that's just trying to break into any industry, not just the entertainment industry, um, but like what's some advice you could give them? Don't say yes because it's not worth it. I feel like a lot of females they get into this industry, they want to get you know they breasts, they butt, all, you know they face and stuff done, and then if they feel like they could get um next to a guy to get into the industry they try to play around with them sleep with them and stuff mm -hmm. it's not i i i've never been that type of person and no offense to the people that does do it because they think that's the only way but it's not worth it because in this industry like everybody has like their season and then your season is over so i'm saying like, it's best like if you don't do it, especially for the attention. Like establish with like business, like behind the scenes and stuff, because it lasts longer. But just to be like front street in the industry and like sleeping around and doing too much to be a part of it, it's not worth it. Because you're gonna look back and be like, damn, like I wish I never did that. Mm -hmm. so, and you can't take it back. When right. You, that's just something you just can't take back. Mm hmm You hear that, Des? Don't get that. Uh, don't get that BBO. I was so, just thinking about it too. Yeah. People see. be like, "Oh, you, you." They be like, "You have a nice body, Mr. Guy. Um, you gonna be like, oh, no, no, it's not that nice. I rather whatever I ain't got. I just don't have it. Just don't have it. <laughs> mm, no, no, no. Everybody is beautiful in their own way. It's better right. to be, like original. Yeah, I'm too scary. I I thought about it, Jason, plenty of times. I was like, I got the mommy body now. I want to get nah, the mommy makeover. You, you, you joking? You jo you joking? No, I'm dead serious. I tell my husband all the time, I'm going to get a mommy makeover. I'm going to get, like, the breast lift and the butt lift and the stomach, tummy tuck. And he was like, no, the hell you're not. Like, you're not doing I, that. Like, if it's not silicone, you're good. Like, if it's just lipo, that, that's not that. Right. All you know, because I struggle to lose the weight. But then I'll be seeing, but then I get nervous. Like, I'm I'm always, I'm already one that don't like pain. I don't like being put to sleep. I was put to sleep one time. I had a um something oh. called a molar pregnancy where... I wanted to have a baby, but obviously it didn't work out like that. And it, so a molar pregnancy is just a bunch of cells, but your body think it's pregnant. So I'm, I, I looked three months pregnant, but I was not. It was just a bunch of cells and cells. So I had to go through that and I got put to sleep and I hated that experience. They asked me for my teeth, just push, pump me for the Novocaine. If you got to do something for my teeth, I do not want to be put to sleep. So I can't, I could never do it, but I have thought about it. I feel you. I, I think have. I have. Because just, just and, and it, it probably is society, right? It's not even, and I try to make it like, oh, it's my thought. But no, I think about society and I think about like what my husband is attracted to. I look back 10 years ago, I'm like, dang, I don't look the same like I used to look back then. <laughs> it's like uh, you have to maintain it like a car. It's like you have to get the maintenance. Mm -hmm. on the I feel like people, that's when I look at the people that's in the industry, the rich people, I feel like, dang, yo, they got the money to do this. Like, they this junk take money like either it's money for a nanny or yeah. it's money for a trainer or it's money for a meal plan or blah whatever like because i'll try it i mean as much as i try right like being from working 40 hours being in school being a mom it just be like i don't even really have the time to, to focus on me but i'm gonna get there i'm gonna get there one day you're gonna be all right, guys. i know
But it's like, honestly, those bodies don't be looking good at all. Because, like, I done, whew, I done seen some crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. And then I just be like, child, I guess, you know, if they like it, I love it. 